So now we are going to go ahead and start styling the bottom tab navigator. Okay, so I can come um, inside the tab navigator here. Okay, so I will just create some space so that you can see what's going on. So inside here, I'll use a screen option. So screen options right here. So screen option, I'm going to destructure and get the route. So that way, we directly when we go into one tab navigator, it knows where we are. Okay, so I'm going to use the route. And here, I'm going to do a direct return. So here, a direct return. And I'll open the flower braces. So right here, I'll do tab bar hide on keyboard. Okay, so here tab bar, so tab bar hide on keyboard. So that way, directly when the keyboard appears, the tab bar, the tab bar should disappear. Okay, so I set that to true, and then I'll use for the icons. I'm gonna use tab bar icon. So right below here, I'll say tab bar icon. So now here I'll say the parameters going to take are going to be the color and the size. So here I'll say color. So color and size. So here I'll open. I'll open it this way. Inside of this, I'll say that I need a variable that I'm going to call icon name. Okay. And then we are going to switch it. Okay. So here we're going to use switch. And uh, we're going to switch the route and the name. Okay. So from the route, we can find out the name of the route. Okay. So depending on the route, on the route, we know what icon should be here, for example. So for the route name, which is um, a workout, we need to have a specific icon over here. So here I'll say, in case it's workout. So case, it's workout. And uh, I don't think it's written that way. Workout is written this way. So I just go in here and paste it. Bring this back here. Okay, in case it's workout, the icon name is going to be dumbbell. Okay, so here is going to be dumbbell. How did I find that out? Uh, get back to your expo vector icon. So here, outside dumbbell. Okay, and this is the one I'm taking. So here, I'll copy this, get back to my code, paste it, come here, copy this, go below. So in case it is workout. The icon name should be dumbbell. And here I'm going to do a return. And inside that return, I'll return this icon. Okay. But we are using parameters over here. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use it this way because the name, we have it from this variable. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this. I mean, cut this and use icon name instead. So here's going to be icon name. And the size is going to be the size given. So everything is going to be by default. And here is going to be color just like that. And then for and then for the timer for the timer, uh, let's say here I can come here and say timer. And we have many of them. I'm just going to use a timer outline here so I can I mean it's coming from the same place so I'm just going to copy this. So I copy this and then I come here, put a comma and place paste it. Okay, and then I can use I can use it uh, down below here. So this is the case we switching. So here case it's this. Okay, that's done. So now I say in the case it's timer. Okay, the case where the icon is timer. Okay, here icon name is going to be equal to timer outline. So um, here's the name, okay, timer, uh, iPhone outline, so I'm just going to type it, it'll be timer outline, and here I'm going to do a return, and I'll be returning something similar to this, so I'm just going to copy, and then um, open the parenthesis and paste it, but here's going to be an icon, so yeah, this is how it is. And uh, finally, for the third one, oh, I can press Ctrl S. You can see if it works. Okay, it doesn't work. Uh, and I can see that this is not the right color. So there's something that is probably wrong somewhere. Let me see. So let me try putting this on the same line. I don't know what's wrong. 
Uh, I guess it's because of this. Yeah. So I can press Ctrl S now. Yeah, and we can see it. Okay, that's good. Then finally, uh, I'm just gonna duplicate this thing. So here is now gonna be timer is going to be equal to calculation. So right here is gonna be calculation. And the name of the icon should be the calculator. Okay, so here you can check it out. Oh, calculator. Yeah, you have it here. Okay, and I'll use the same thing here with the ionicons. So right here is going to be equal to uh, calculator, calcu, oh, calculator. Okay. Yeah, and there we have it. So I decided to use the outline instead. Okay, so I'm using this. Looks better. Okay, so after that, we are gonna go just. Um, let me see here. So after the tab bar, okay. So the tab bar is here. It's closing here. We're gonna go below okay below and we're gonna say tab bar show label so are we gonna show the label no we don't need to so I'll say false okay so when I do that the label should disappear that's good okay and then we can say header shown is false header header shown we're gonna say that we don't want to see the header as well so we're gonna make those disappear okay and now to the styling of the tab bar so here I say tab bar style so the tab bar style, so here, I'll say I need the background color to be black. So here I'll say black. Good. Then I want it to be a little rounded, so I'll say border, top, left, radius. I'll say 20. Then I want the border, top, right, radius. I want it to be 20 as well. Then I'll say I want some padding vertical. So here I'll say padding vertical. So we're gonna get some vertical padding. And I'll just add five. Okay. Yeah, so we have this looking this way now. Okay, below that, here, now I'll say tab bar active tint color. Active tint color. And I want it when it's active, I want it to be aqua. So here it's gonna be aqua. And here, tab bar inactive color, tab bar inactive tint color. Here, I want it to be gray. So when it's inactive, it's going to be gray. And when it's active, it's going to be the color of aqua. Okay, so we're having it looking this way now. Great. So yeah, I will stop this video right here and I will see you in the next one.